Hi, people. Mr. Shifley here. Um, well, we're not in school right now, so I thought it would be good if I made some drawing videos so you could see what I'm drawing. And hopefully, sometime soon, I'll get to see some of your drawings. So, let's start here with a circle right here. If you know me, you know I like to draw creatures. So this is the creature's eyeball right here. So I'm gonna draw its eyelid, a little oval right here for a reflection, a line and a line. This is gonna be the pupil, so I'm going to fill that in black. Okay, so there's an eye. Let's add an ear over here like that. Give it the inside of the ear. I'm gonna draw a little horn right here, upside down U shape, another one right here. Curve the bottom. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, all right, I guess it's looking okay. Maybe I'll just straighten this line up a little bit. And a nostril, it's like a C shape. Keep going. I'm gonna line the lip up with the eyeball right there, just like that. And its mouth is going to be wide open. Lower lip, chin, and then a curved line right here for the cheek. And then I'm gonna connect those with a straight line right there. Yeah, okay, it's looking all right. It's looking okay, it's starting to come together here. I'm gonna add a curved line right here for the neck and another curved line here to finish it up. So this is sort of like a horned llama. I think it needs some spikes. It's imaginary and it needs to breathe fire. So here's some fire coming out of its mouth. You know what? I think a little beard is in order here. Give it a little beard. And, hmm, hmm, what else? Let's see. Yeah, it needs a pattern like stripes or spots or something. So I'm gonna put zebra stripes on its neck. I'm curving them so it makes the neck look more rounded and three-dimensional. And then I'm gonna do that same sort of thing up here on the cheek. But I'm gonna curve it in different ways to show the curves of the animal. And I'm just gonna put some stripes on the horns just to put some different patterns in here to make it look a little more interesting. Maybe just a couple hatch marks here and there to give it some shading. All right, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching and we'll do some more of these videos and I can't wait to see what you're making too. All right, that's it for now. See ya.